Hello, welcome to Pluralsight and to this course on Linux Systems Programming. I'm Dr Chris Brown and this module is called Managing Files and Directories. Now the last module focused on accessing the data in a file, so in this module we're moving uh, up the stack a little, so to speak, by looking at the file system itself. We'll start by looking at the file system structure and we'll meet things called links and inodes and directories and look at the system calls for examining them. Then we'll meet the system calls for working with directories, how to create them, delete them and read their contents. As a more advanced topic, we'll see how to monitor the file system for changes using an API called iNotify. Along the way are a good collection of demonstration programs, including programs for doing directory listing. So let's take a, a quick behind the scenes tour of the file system structure. When an empty file system is created, whether it be on a raw disk partition or perhaps on a logical volume, one of the data structures that's created is the inode table, which is a well, it's a table of inodes, and the inodes uh, are numbered. I've shown the numbers here. These are just called the inode numbers, or sometimes just the i numbers. I've only shown five. In reality, there would be uh, a very large number. The inodes hold a file's attributes. If we look inside one, we'll see that they hold things like the file's permissions, uh, its owner and group, and the various timestamps that are maintained on the file. The inode also holds pointer type information, block numbers and so on, that allow the Linux kernel to find the actual data in the file. Uh, we're not going to go down to that level uh, of detail though in this module. Now the picture as it stands so far contains everything about the file, its attributes and its data, but the file doesn't have a name. Now this is where directories come in. A directory is a file, it has its own inode, and a directory contains things called links. A link associates a name with an inode number. Here the name is foo and we think of that as the name of the file. The inode number is 5, it's the index into the inode table. Our directory has another file in it called bar, uh, linking to inode number 3. Again, I would repeat that these uh, numbers are unrealistically small. So, uh, just to repeat that, directories contain links and links associate names with inode numbers. Now, in fairness to some of the more modern Linux file systems, I should point out that they don't all store the inodes in a fixed sized pre-created table, as this diagram suggests. Many of them use a much more dynamic data structure to hold the inodes. Nonetheless, the basic idea remains. The inodes are stored in a data structure that's indexed by an integer value called the inode number.